Hey guys, welcome to Bad Beast Barbecue, Sweet Southern Smoke. Today we're going to be talking about a rotisserie chicken done on the gas grill. So, don't go away. We've been brining a whole chicken in the fridge for about 14 hours in a combination of water, brown sugar, kosher salt, olive oil, thyme, and basil. The reason for the smaller top inside of the pot was to help to keep the chicken submerged while it was brining. We'll put the recipe for this brine in the notes. We then poured the brine off of the chicken. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like us if you're enjoying our videos. We then place the colander in the sink to wash off some of the excess brine off the chicken using cold water. Woo! Nothing like a good cold water bath to wake up the senses. Once you finish rinsing the brine from the chicken, take a few paper towels and kind of dry the chicken off, removing some of the excess water before you start applying your rub. Before you can put the chicken on a rotisserie, you need to tie it up so the legs and wings don't flail everywhere while it's cooking. Uh, this is called the figure eight technique. I learned this off of a YouTube channel and I'll put the link in the notes below so that you'll be able to learn how to truss up your chicken the same way. Make sure you get that knot good and tight. Once you got the bird tied up, take the chicken wings and tuck underneath the string on each side to prevent them from sticking out while the chicken is on the rotisserie. Just cut off the excess strings and now you're ready for your dry rub. Now you can use whatever dry rub you wish to use. This particular one here is a recipe we've been working on for a little while. And we'll put the recipe down in the remarks block of the video so that you can try it out. Remember, it is a work in progress. Now that your rub has been applied, place the chicken on the rotisserie rod. Make sure that it is secure. There's nothing like having a naked yard bird doing its own thing on your rotisserie rod. We place the chicken on the rotisserie on the grill to make sure that it's balanced and even. Then we place the pan of water underneath the chicken on the rotisserie for kind of an offset type cooking to make sure you catch all those drippings. You don't want any flare ups. Now while the chicken is on the grill, we prepare a foil pack with a little soaked applewood chips. Fold your chips in the foil pack and then poke a few holes in it to allow the smoke to escape. Nothing like adding the smell of some good apple wood to some chicken. Place your foil pack directly on one of the burners and the chips will begin to smoke after a short period of time. Well, now that the chicken's on the grill, there's nothing left to do but to sit back with a cold San Miguel and a frosty mug and wait for that yard bird to be done. I can taste it already. Yes, sir. 
there, they sure hit the spot. After about an hour and 45 minutes on the rotisserie, the chicken has a nice reddish golden color. Now I know you wish you could smell that. Hmm, I can't wait to get my teeth into it. We're gonna go ahead and check the temperature now. We're shooting for a temperature about 170 degrees. As you can see, we're a few degrees above that mark. We're gonna go ahead and start glazing the chicken. And we're using Big K's Glaze by Kevin Kerr out of Wentzville, Missouri. This is some good stuff. We're gonna go ahead and put the contact information down in the notes so you can get your own jar of Big K's Glaze. It's got a sweet, spicy taste. And we're gonna go ahead and glaze the chicken and we're gonna let it sit on the grill for another five to 10 minutes. Just enough time to allow the glaze to kind of tack up before we take it off the grill. So don't go anywhere. Once you take your chicken off the rotisserie, go ahead and loosely tin it with some foil and let it set for a little while before you cut into it. Allow those juices to flow back into the chicken. Well, now that the chicken has set for about 30 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and carve into it. The chicken is definitely moist and juicy. It's like I might have to sharpen up my knife a little bit. Looks like I'm having a few problems with this chicken. I'm gonna to have to brush up on my carving skills. Now that we finally got the chicken cut up, time for a taste test. We're gonna cut into this breast. It's moist and it's juicy. We're gonna give it a little taste. tell you. Thumbs up. It's definitely okay. Definitely succulent. You need to try this if you like rotisserie chicken. Well that's all we have time for today. This has been Bad Beast Barbecue. And remember where there's smoke there's fire. And if it's a fire then damn it there just might be a barbecue there. See you soon.